tuned because this is about to get hot. Hey everybody, it's uh, Ty Smith, and I'm I'm getting out of my car right here. You know, uh, I just got done driving it. It's my um, 1998 uh, Chevy Cavalier, and yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. I can show you a great way of how to get one of these 90 Chevy 8 Cavaliers too, but you're first going to have to listen to some key factors into being successful. So what I'm going to do here is, see, I want you all to be successful too. And there's ways of being successful on how you can get a Chevy Cavalier like mine. And, um, you know, I got it in 1998. And I got it with special tools that I use every day. And I can show you how you can be a hundred dare or a thousand dare to where you can afford one of these puppies too. You know, it's a four cylinder. It goes, uh, you know, zero to 60 in about two minutes. So, yeah, I love this baby. And, um, oh, you ought to hear her roaring down the road. I mean, she, she really goes. And, you know, I, I named her Travelier. So, you know, it's like this type of video like this where I do a lot of talking and never really get to the point of what how you can actually be successful like I am. It's just to keep on wording and to get you to watch the video like they do because, you know, special tools that we use in our lives are great investments and I want you to have those investments too. You know, when I was a little kid, you know, I went through a lot of different things and nobody really talked to me about how money works but I want you guys to listen to me keep on rambling on about how money works so you can be successful and become a hundred dare or a thousand dare too to where you can afford one of these puppies right here you know seventy six dollars a month for nineteen years or something like that but I can afford that because you know I work um, in a, a work I do work you know that I work work when I do my work because I work and when I do work I make sure that I work and I want to show you guys the tools on how you can work too. So, yeah, I don't want to lie to you guys. I want to be completely honest. I actually got this puppy when me and my wife got married 17 years ago. And um, I want you guys to be able to get one of these puppies too. So, as you can see, I keep on rambling on about how you can have the proper tools to get one of these puppies. I actually paid about $187.26 way back in... Uh, 2001 when we first got married and so I want you guys to have the successful tools <laughs> I'm sorry you guys it's just that uh, I've been doing like since I've been doing these YouTube videos I've been getting like these really crazy um, little ads or whatnot to come on there and it's all these guys keep on showing themselves getting out of these Lamborghinis and all this and they just ramble on about how you can be successful and da 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 da, -da too so I just figured I'd just go ahead and do a spoof on it. Anyway, um, that is our Chevy Cavalier that me and my wife had. We call it Travelier. It was a, one of the first cars we got when we first got married, but I do have other vehicles, but this is not I me. Mean, you guys seen my, my Toyota Tundra. And then my wife, she also has her dream van that she wanted when me and her was like three years into being married, her uh, Nissan Quest, and there it is right there. That's Knight Rider. I'm not showing you guys to brag on anything like that. And you can see my truck sitting out there too, but... I only did that because I just think it's so funny how those guys get on there and do those videos. They get on there and do those videos like that. And they just ramble on and ramble on and don't show you really how to do it. It's just one way of getting money. They want you to buy their book or anything like that. So anyway, y'all know what I always say. I'm going to start some reaction videos for y'all, so stay tuned. I hope you guys all have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray that you all are in great health. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Y'all wasn't expecting me, was y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me, Raekwon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I got a little bit inspired because y'all know I was trying to do my rapping thing and all that stuff like that. But I seen that y'all was really, really liking my girl, Dashika Shea. 
when she was putting her songs and stuff down, you know what I'm saying? And what y'all don't know, if both of us got like some good old lyrical skills, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing some writing and rapping and stuff too. And you know how Nelly and that one uh, country dude did that song? It's all in my head. I dream about it over and over again. I can't get that dumb song out my head. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, you know, after a while, the song become a little bit, you know, messed up on the brother. You know what I'm saying? You just, stuff don't get out your head. So anyway, the reason why I'm saying to talk to y'all is because of this. Check this out. Y'all know that one song, Chilling on a Dirt Road? I wrote something just like that, man. Something almost just like it. But instead, the song is called Chilling in the Ghetto. Okay? Disclaimer, YouTube. These are my words. I didn't steal these words. I came up with this all on my own. What? Take a listen to it first before y'all try to copyright me. Like y'all did my girl Dashika Shea on that one song. My weed, y'all tried to copyright her on that. That was her own words, all right? And then that one song she wrote, Why Don't You Spray? Y'all tried to copyright her on that too. Those her own words, YouTube. Y'all gotta stop all this hating. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, subscribers and patriarchs, I mean, pat apricots, patriarchs, whatever y'all call yourself, uh, subscriptionists, whatever. I got a song too, like I said, the dude name was, uh, I don't know, Jason Aldean or something like that, called, uh, Dirt Roll Anthem, this is called the Ghetto Anthem, alright, so y'all check this out, check this out, alright? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. All my homies came from the hood. Just chilling in the ghetto, watching all the OGs get stoned. Gang signs thrown out the windows, thugs standing on the corner trying to hustle. Running the house when we see street lights, talking about who won the street fight. Can insurance save you 15% more on your car insurance? Will Auntie Dashika Shake wig ever fall off? Bam, 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 because bam, 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 that's not the answer we were going for. Hey, somebody likes what he sees. I knew that would get some of y'all attention. <laughs> Anybody else 
I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I, this is just kind of what I do. Can y'all imagine somebody else? <laughs> some of y'all say, can you imagine what it's like when I'm around my family? We get back in the food. Y'all have no idea. I'm telling you. Anyway, I told y'all, if you're missing it tonight, you are just missing it. This is a once in a lifetime thing. No, I'm just kidding. But whew, hope y'all enjoy yourselves. <laughs>